Holy crap, guys. We are at Spirit number 53 in Rome, Georgia in an old Toys R Us. And guys, let me just tell you, this is not just any Spirit. This is the cream of the crop for 2022 Spirit Halloween, Spirit Halloween stores. <laughs> this, my friends, is where they filmed the Spirit Halloween movie. Rome, Georgia, on Martha Berry Highway in the old abandoned Toys R Us. Now guys, I don't want to ruin the illusion, but if you've ever seen my movie filming locations videos before, you know that there is some serious movie magic that happens when they're making movies. Now I haven't even seen the Spirit Halloween movie yet, but I know from the trailers that the kids roll up on their bikes right here and there's a fence and before they get here, they roll around a couple corners around some abandoned industrial buildings. When they pull into the parking lot of the Spirit Halloween, it's right here. And there's a fence here, and you're under the illusion that they are in an abandoned area. When the camera angle changes to this way, and you see their faces as they're looking at the Spirit Halloween, behind them, you see the abandoned industrial park that they just rode their bikes through. But in fact, that industrial park is in a completely different area. And this is what's really behind the Spirit Halloween. Look, it's a party city. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I didn't even know that I was going to be coming here this morning. I'm just amazed that I'm here. The movie just came out a couple days ago. It comes out on DVD and streaming on October 11th. And surprisingly, they are not showing the movie at the local Regal Theater here in Rome. I don't get it. In my opinion, they totally dropped the ball on that one. But anyways, let's just take a look at the outside of the building here, guys, before we go in. This is the legit store where they filmed that movie. If you look up here, you can see the red and the yellow blocks over here, the green and the blue ones over here, and you can see those in the trailer in a couple of little shots. Up by the Spirit Halloween sign, you can see the discoloration on the edges there where it used to say Toys R Us. You can see obviously the multicolored border around the doors and the windows, as well as the old Toys R Us exit and entrance signs. Guys, how awesome is this? I'm so excited right now. So this is really awesome to me, guys, because I filmed a lot of Toys R Us stores as they were going out of business and after they were abandoned. And in fact, my local Toys R Us in Canton, Ohio, before I started exclusively filming Spirit Halloweens, I filmed the day they were taking down the Toys R Us sign and putting up a Spirit Halloween sign. Okay, one more look here, guys, at the outside before we go in, because we're gonna go in here and see what they have to offer at the most awesome Spirit Halloween on the face of the earth in 2022 in Rome, Georgia, at the old Toys R Us. Look at how the doors are like fogged over. That is kind of creepy. Thank you, automatic doors. Ah, oh, yes, here we go, guys. How cool is this? This is awesome on so many levels, guys. First, it's a Spirit Halloween. Second, look at the floor. This is straight up Toys R Us tiling, guys, and you can see it in the movie. And as you look around the edges up here, you can see the multi-colors from when it was a Toys R Us. In fact, up front there, you can even see an R with a star in it. Let's go up here quick and get a closer look at that. Look, there it is right there, an R with a star in it. How cool. Red and green and gray and yellow and blue squares all over this tile floor. And how I would love to take you through that door and show you all the Toys R Us goodness that is peeking out. This 
is awesome, guys. Absolutely awesome to see this place. And I'm so glad that when I watch the movie, I will be able to know that I was right here where it was filmed. I know, Grim, we're gonna get to you in just a minute. I'm just excited about the movie. So whenever I watch the movie, I'm gonna be looking for stuff like this, guys, on the floor, the discolorations, this part right here where the tiles are messed up. All this stuff is descriptive of this specific filming location. Man, I love stuff like this. These blue corner things around this post here, even different things in the rafters, like this light that's hanging down over here, or this coil of wire up here. Anyways, okay, I know you guys wanna see the spirit, so let's go ahead and take a look at the haunted spirit in Rome, Georgia. Back in spirit Halloween filming mode. The only thing in here is that I'm worried they're all going to come alive and kill me. Are you going to kill me? You're trying to peck me. Are you trying to kill me? Are you trying to kill me? Or are you just trying to possess me? Maybe the bog monster's gonna try to kill me. Guys, I would totally die if there was a buzz saw in here. That would be so cool. We already saw Grim over here and we know he's trying to kill me. Get away! No reaching for me! Tombstone of Terror, we know he's alive. Whoa, he almost fell over. All right, buddy, let me move you out there just a little bit. Okay, then of course we have Shorty here. Hello, Shorty. Everybody in here is on the sensor, guys. That's so cool. Are you going to come alive and try to kill me? Okay, I think we're safe with Shorty. Let's go over here. Wait a minute, we have a sitting scarecrow, guys. Holy crap, let's see if he works. Sitting Scarecrow, are you going to kill me? Are you going to kill me? He's not gonna kill me. Okay, well, we'll leave some stickers for him anyway. There you go, buddy. Kids can reach in there and get him without getting killed. Okay, let's go on through here and see if young Crouchy is going to come alive and try to kill us. He's alive and his hair is definitely alive. Oh my gosh, guys, I turned around and I saw this awaiting me. Scared the living crap out of me. I totally expected to see Barry there. Empty soul girl on a swing. Holy crap, guys. My heart, when I turned around, just about stopped to see that face staring into my soul. And I can confirm now what people have told me, that she is not an animatronic. She's just sitting on the swing. You actually have to buy the extra swing animatronic mechanism. Would you please be quiet, sir? Oh my gosh, everyone is going ballistic in here right now. Be quiet, shorty. Okay, anyway, you get what I'm trying to say about the empty sitting, empty soul girl, whatever her name is. All right, guys, we're gonna come back to all these animatronics on the floor, but I do wanna come back here and see the one that they have set up that does have to do with the movie. And that is Mr. Dark. Mr. Dark is in the movie. Are you coming to kill me? Are you gonna come alive? He came alive and he screamed at me, but he didn't jump. Okay, good, because I don't want to die today. I don't want to die, I just want to make a cool video. Wow, he is still making noises too. What the heck is going on with him? Man, they are pretty stocked, guys. They even have more animatronics back here. Let's go ahead and look at them and then we'll go back to those. Here we have a bag of bones. We have another bag of bones. Fogging skull pile, pose and stay skeleton, a bog zombie down here. Oh look, we got a Lucky Bottoms over here. And we got Reagan on the other side of the pole. I do not want to be here when she turns alive. Empty soul girl on a swing. Another one down here. We got a haunted tree, inflatable. Three jumping spiders here. And we have a Grim on the other side. Let's see if Mr. Jumper wants to come alive and kill us. Ooh, he's a tricking one. He's a trickster. He never jumped. What the heck? All he did was tick. He's ticking. He's a ticking spider. He's not even a jumping spider. He is pretty dang good at ticking too. <laughs> All right, we got Skelly Bones over here. Let's see, is he just, is he on a sensor? No, let's see if he's gonna work. Oh, okay, this guy got me. <laughs> Bag of Bones got me. Apparently Skelly is not gonna jump up and get us today, but that's okay. We got Lucky over here. Let's see if we can get him going. Of course Lucky Bottoms works. He always works good in these stores. If I could choose one animatronic to come alive and actually try to get me, it would be Lucky Bottoms because he doesn't have a butt. He can't run. We have three sitting scarecrows over here and we can't forget about Nozzles. I don't think he's gonna come alive and try to kill us, but let's just see. 
Dear sir, if you come alive, please bring a hot jalapeno. <laughs> I prefer it stuffed with sausage and onions, please. Okay, the experimental room of electrical death is already alive. Well, it was when I first stepped in here. There it goes. If anything's gonna kill me, it's gonna be, ah! All right, guys, let's go back up here and see these animatronics that they have on the floor because they have a whole ton of them. We've got a bog zombie and a Lord Raven. We've got a Reagan on top, Tombstone of Terror, and a Grim. One, two possessed pumpkins, a sitting scarecrow, plenty of jumping spiders. We've even got the scary flying ghost. Let's see, stuffed dummies over here. We got more jumping spiders. We have a shorty over here and a Lord Farquaad. They have a Lord Raven and a Lord Farquaad. We've got a little skelly bones, two tombstones of terror here, two young crouchies and two nozzles. And what's this on top? The inflatable hearse. We have more animatronics that want to come alive. The Billy Butcherson sidestepper here. And we have Lydia sidesteppers. She's not coming alive. What's this? We have a basket? Mom, I want to be a basket for Halloween. Please, they sell them at Spirit. All right, let's come over here and visit our zombie babies. Yes, we have plenty of the crawlers down here. We have the brain eaters. Why is his butt right in her face, though? We have the hand eaters. We have the burrito baby, who looks like a bat hanging from a cave. We have the rat eaters and the spider biters, which I called ants one day just to see what people would say, and they went crazy. And we have Gorius George eating these little fellows. Look, we have the hook eye guy. But do we have, where is it? Where could it be? Yes, the hook head hog. There should be a TV show of the dynamic duo, the hook eye guy and the hook head hog. Hello rats. We've got the creeping cat down here and the secret keeping cat. Will you tell me the behind the scenes secrets of the spirit Halloween movie? We've got some buckets needing some stickers. Lots of inflatables, but nothing we really haven't seen anywhere else. Honestly, guys, I'm really surprised that there's like no trace or evidence that the movie was filmed here. There's no signs on the walls. There's no kind of events posted or anything. Why are they not doing like a parking lot presentation of the movie on a big inflatable screen or something. All right, anyway, let's look at some of these masks over here because they do have Halloween masks here. Do I see Halloween ends? No, I do not. But I do see Nightmare 4, my favorite Freddy Krueger mask. What the heck happened to the back of his head? Oh, <laughs> I got the back, I thought the back of his head like got ripped off or something for a minute. All right, let's take a quick look at the creepy dolls over here, guys. We have the creepy cracked head baby. We have Eerie Emma. We have Decrepit Donna and Hugs. And we have Pumpkin Nestor and Rosalie. Hello, Bouncy Sam Head. Did I walk right by these tiny terrors over here? We have Sam Sidesteppers, Pennywise Sidestepper, Billy Butcherson again. We have Slim and Spiky. They are stocked with Hocus Pocus. I have yet to see that movie, guys. It came out just a few days ago, and I just haven't had the time to watch it yet. They even have a ton of Hocus Pocus costumes, but I don't see Billy Butcherson's head. All right, let's not forget about Monty here. Hello, Monty. I'm sorry that you're very close to a loudspeaker. I can't talk to you any longer. And we do have a little bit of ghost face goodness over here. We have the light up mask. We have the red devil face. And we have, is this the blue? That's the purple one. Is that blue? Yeah, they have the purple and the blue. All right, guys, one more look at this awesome store where they filmed the Spirit Halloween movie. All the animatronics are going ballistic in here. I do believe they're coming alive and trying to kill me. I am so excited to see the movie, guys. I cannot wait for it to come out on DVD. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If anything exists in here that has to do with the movie, it will be in these posters. Look, yes! We got a buzzsaw poster. Actually, I'm gonna put this one back. If you want it, come get it. But there's another one over here that's in a little bit better condition. It's still buzzsaw. I usually don't get these posters, but since this is a buzzsaw poster directly from the Spirit Halloween where the movie was filmed where buzzsaw came alive, I'm gonna buy it. And before we go, let's try Mr. Dark just one more time because I do believe he is truly possessed. He's screaming, but he's not jumping. 
Mr. Dark, thank you for not trying to kill me today. Final look, guys. I don't even want to leave. Just make sure when you watch the movie, you watch for things like the colored tiles on the floor and these lines here. Or even little anomalies like the busted up tile here. Guys, what in the living world? The girl who works here doesn't even know that the movie was filmed here. She didn't even know there was a movie. One last look, guys, as I walk away. The coup de gras, the creme de la creme, is that how you say it? <laughs> the spirit Halloween in an old Toys R Us, abandoned Toys R Us, where the brand new 2022 spirit Halloween movie was filmed right here, right now in Rome, Georgia. I'm out.